Come on now, people. I've been telling you for almost two years now, you need to have a GNR TV. And now sports are back. Football is back. Now is the perfect time for you to get this if you don't have it already. And if you look on over here, as I've been telling you before, you get all these amazing channels, every single one of them, for $20 a month for two devices. And if you look on up over here, it's written. It's written everything you get with GNR TV. If you want four devices, $40. And there's some cool extras right here. GNR TV, streaming done right. If you don't have it, get it. What more can I say? What more can I say? It's time to cut the damn cord, stop being ripped off by the dish and cable, and get this lovely thing we call GNR TV. Streaming done right. Let's get slicing and dicing with Sir Sturdy Horror fans. On this podcast, you will hear me and a guest do some movie reviews, random funny horror chats, and whatever else comes to mind. So tune in, kick back, relax, and always remember, I'll see you in your nightmares. Well, this station's mask. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Sir Sturdy. I have my guest from the Sinister Parlor podcast, Zombie Barbie. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Staying busy with this whole podcast thing, the COVID thing. Yeah. It's, it's nuts. Like, I, I've i been doing so many freaking episodes to where I forget. I don't, I don't know how many I've done since this whole thing started. And I some days I forget how many I do. Or not some days. Some weeks I forget how many I do in a freaking week. I don't know if it's, it could be like between like one and four and zero, but it's just like I have so many in stock that I have to get out and edit and all that. That's just like, when the hell did I record this? Shit, it feels like it's uh, yeah. like one long ass day of just recording sometimes. Not that that's a bad <laughs> do, As you know, I do enjoy it, but it just, when it comes to editing, I'm like, damn, I feel like I was doing this shit all day. I'm sure you. Mm -hmm. that. Well, yeah. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, and then when you have four of them in a week, that's like a lot of editing that you have to do. It is. And my thing is, which I need to work on more, is like, like I said, I did a, I did a shit ton. Like weeks and weeks and weeks of doing multiple episodes a week. And then I didn't, I wouldn't edit them right away. And after a while, I was like, okay, I got to start editing these, editing these, editing these. Now that's what I'm starting to do more. I'm trying to edit. At the very least, I'm trying to edit them. Edit them. Like I edited two earlier today. I just didn't export them yet. Because I take like two hours oh, wow. an episode. And then uh, if I'm not too tired by the time we're all done later, or maybe I'll do it tomorrow, I'm going to edit some more. Because mm -hmm. I have I have a podcast at 9 o'clock in the morning. Which Oh, uh, wow. You're doing an early one. Only because they're from the UK or Australia or something. Oh. Then it's going to be Sunday night at like 11 o'clock at night. And for me, because mm -hmm. like, I, I couldn't think of a good time to where it would work for both of us to where, excuse me, it's not either it's not too late for them or too early for me. Because at first, they wanted to do like real, real early, like five or like six or seven in the morning. I was like, that's too, I'd say that's too early. Like, I could do, I was like, I can do nine o'clock though. Nine o'clock work. Yeah. If it works on your end. So yeah, but that's, I can get up. That's nothing. I get up, I get up kind of early anyway. I just don't always get up and get out of bed. I wake up. So make sure mm -hmm. I get, moving. get the recording. That one's kind of easy because it's an interview, so it's not a movie review. I don't have to watch anything in between. Oh, cool! It's one of those type of deals. Those those are easy sometimes and fun. Mm -hmm. As you know, because I know you get a you get a ton of freaking interviews on your on your show actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super fun. Um, but yeah, Australia. I, I know from me, they're sixteen hours ahead. So what would they be? Fourteen hours ahead of you. I think so, yeah. Because I think you're two hours ahead of me. Yeah. Yeah, 16. Yeah. 14, 14 hours, I believe. Either way, though, it's just so... It throws me off so much when it's like that. Like an hour, two hours, three hours. I get mixed up with that here and there. When it comes to the double digits... Me too. I'm like, forget it. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't <laughs> you're like, it's a whole new day. How do I figure this out? <laughs> but 
really quick. We're doing the movie Ginger Sense. If you guys can't tell by the stuff behind me. And I'm actually in the yeah. <laughs> choice off the top 50 list. But I'm actually in the, like, the beginning part where the one girl's becoming a woman. And by that, guys, I mean getting her period. <laughs> She's, like freaking out. I don't know. I don't know how that is. I've never had a period. I don't think I ever will. But I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. It's, I'm, I don't I'm, think I ever will, but you never know. It could happen. <laughs> I'm sure it's uncomfortable, especially at first. And it's just it's just funny how like she reacts like when she thinks she's dying. I'm just like Yeah. yeah. And that but the crazy thing is is like how her attitude I mean, yes, she got she gets bit by the, the light what they call it a lichen in this movie, right? Mm-hmm. But she, like her attitude just changes like damn near overnight. And just Yeah. Like she still stuck up for her sister, yes. But she went from like just being with the sister all the time to hanging out with the quote unquote cool kids, smoking mm-hmm. puppy. <laughs> That's yep. pretty much like, within like, you know, a few years longer than that. But within a few days, I'm just like, damn, like her whole mood changed, her whole attitude changed, a lot more aggressive. Yep. Her hair changed. Like the next day, she had like the gray streaks in her hair and she was all changed her style and shit. I was like, this is just interesting. It was like the way it started was just kind of like, I was like, this is crazy. This is interesting. And at first, when the um, when the baby's playing with the paw, the dog paw, I saw you. You just see the blood in the baby's mouth, and he's like looking down at something, and they're going to pick up the dog paw. I was thinking that she did it. I because I knew one of them. You could tell kind of which one was going to be the Viking. Mm-hmm. I thought she did it until she got attacked, and I was like, okay, she didn't do that. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah, and I had forgotten about that too. Um, because I mean I've seen it a bunch of times, but even when I watched it yesterday to kind of refresh on it, mm-hmm. I was thinking that too. And I was like, oh wait a minute, okay, yeah, it wasn't her. So it was like just some random werewolf, the one that bit her, right? Yeah, yep. Cause he attacked her, they were running from it. Her the sisters were running from it, and um the dude with the yellow van hit the werewolf and ran it over. And he knew he knew what it was because mm-hmm. that's her, right. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh, this is where she kicks the dog, barking at her. Which <laughs> I'm a dog lover, but if you're gonna stick your dog on me, I have to defend myself. I'm not gonna say I would kill it, but you can't, you can't, you can't stick your dog on somebody and then say they kicked your dog and your dog runs away, and then you get mad at the person kicking your dog that you told your dog to go attack. I mm-hmm. should in the face right after. <laughs> you're the one who. Really that girl was a bitch, though. She was jealous. She was. Mm-hmm. Well, and then I was um, wondering if the dog, they made it seem like the dog was kind of going at her because she's something different, but a werewolf is basically a dog too. So wouldn't the dog like the werewolf? Maybe, maybe not just because it could smell a different species and just not be comfortable with it. Or maybe, you know, they could say animals can kind of sense like a bad vibe or whatever, like a bad person sometimes. And maybe that the dog just kind of, Mm -hmm. she does turn, she gets nuts. Like you see it. (laughs) Throughout this movie, she gets crazy, yeah, which is just—it's not your typical bad attitude teenager, female teenager either. This is this is like on a whole another level. This isn't just the bad attitude slamming doors and throwing shit. This is killing people too, and animals. Yeah, yep, and like ripping their throats out and shit. Yeah, <laughs> and giving somebody an well and giving th- yeah. I was just gonna say that, and the weird thing is, is so she kind of transitions where she's not gross looking, you know, she looks pretty and she's all edgy and cool looking, but he was gross. Like he has all these like bubbles all over his face, like pus filled bubbles and he's all red and splotchy and nasty. So like why'd he transition disgusting and she transitioned good. He's all pissing out blood. (laughs) That right there. I was just like, Oh my God, that can't be good. Like that is (laughs) a fear. That's a fear. That can't be good at all. I'm holy shit. And like, <laughs> the funny thing was, okay, so they come back from the car. He's like, you know, he's bragging about how he slept with the girl, and he has the period blood in his pants. No big deal. Mm-hmm. They're making fun of him for it. And then, he, I forgot what he says. He ends up going to the bathroom. And that's when he's peeing blood and screaming. And, mm-hmm. and it was just like, holy shit! And he comes out of the bathroom with like, like you said, like the blotches on his face, the red blotches on his face. 
actually didn't he come up to his friend mm-hmm. like that though, mm-hmm. huh? With the blotches on his face, the red mark, like those yeah, like and he he was all beat up, like he had bruises everywhere, and he had cuts and stuff, and like holes. But mm-hmm. I don't think those pussy things were on him yet. Oh, not until after he pissed the blood. Maybe more like scratches. Yeah, that's what it was. Because then, like, yeah, the blood he comes out the bathroom. I'm sleeping. But it was. I liked how they did it, though. I like how they did it with like teens, for the fact that, you know, when they're going through their changes, the puberty and all that stuff, moods change. (laughs) Crazy Mm -hmm. moods change. I mean, you know, the body's changing, physically and mentally, everything's changing. So their moods are like one day happy go lucky the next day or that same day mad as shit don't know why just pissed at the world and i feel like she played the, played that part up very well her either because they're like the complete opposites with their attitudes yeah yeah and they're both and it's funny because they were both kind of losers to begin with mm-hmm. and then the other one stayed a loser and then ginger ended up being like a badass and a psycho and hot and all sexual and shit yeah. So I felt bad for Bridget because she was still a dork. Yeah. Mimi Rogers. That's what I was going to say. Who was the, the mom? It was Mimi Rogers. In this movie? Remember she was, I don't remember what she, yeah. I don't remember what she was in, but I know she's pretty famous and she was with Tom Cruise like years and years ago. I think that was like his first wife or some shit. She, she just gave her wife, or her wife, because you said wife. She <laughs> gave her daughter a strawberry shortcake for getting her period. I know. She was like celebrating it. <laughs> I love strawberry shortcake. Oh, me too. Just throw it out there. And she was just so mad about it. Like she got mad at her. She was like, you told mom. But I feel like, I, I don't know, guys. I don't know, ladies. And I'm not going to say this topic for too long. But I feel like a mother just kind of knows when her daughter's going through that change. It's just like, mm-hmm. you know, like her, your fr- one of your daughter's friends or one or you guys you you know you had siblings say like, or not siblings two kids you you wouldn't have to mm-hmm. find out for the sibling that your one child is going through that change you, I think mm-hmm. I'm, like that's that spider sense goes off and mom's like okay I gotta tell her about this and this let me just make her a strawberry shortcake I'm guessing that's what happens <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I don't know <laughs> well usually they'll tell you too you know like daughters will be like oh you know this and that yeah. she was trying to keep everything from the mom which was weird. I, but the know, mom was weird, so I can kind of get it. She was, but I mean, that strawberry shortcake was looking delicious. <laughs> yeah, it was. But um, yeah, I feel with her too, with Ginger, her attitude is the way it is because she was attacked by the werewolf. So that has to play. I mean, she gets more violent, more aggressive. So it had to play an effect in her attitude along with, you know, being a, a female teenager and going through the changes and all that other stuff. So it's like, it's just all adding up. Mm-hmm. Well, and didn't the werewolf attack her because of that, right? I think it smelled. It smelled the blood. blood. Like, that's what I. I know it was mentioned. I forgot what part of the movie. I know it was mentioned. They were like, maybe that's why you got attacked because you know you're going through the change and they smell the blood. I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I, mean, I don't know. It, it does make sense. It does make sense. What the hell is she watching? She's watching. Her sister's watching a werewolf movie. I don't know what movie it is though. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I don't know. Yeah, she's like. But like, I don't know if she's doing homework or uh, or what. But she's watching a werewolf movie. She like looks up at the TV. You see her look up at the TV, and she looks down or whatever after. Huh? Maybe it's an American werewolf in London. <laughs> that, that would be something. That would be. Awesome. That would be. That'd be cool. We should look it up and see. Um, but the werewolf attack was fucking crazy. Like, I expected her to die because it got her so... I mean, it was just ripping her all over the place and takes her into the forest. And she suddenly comes back and it takes her again. It's just like tearing her to shreds. Yes, yes. It was. I thought she... I was just like, holy shit. Is this how she's going to go out? And then her sister's going to become the werewolf and maybe want revenge? Cause this is the first time watching it, so I had no idea what was gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Now we're yeah. Well, when you s- sent me that list, I'm going through, and I found like a few I wanted to do. I was like, "Oh, that one's good. Oh, that one's good." And I saw Ginger Snaps. So I'm like, "Oh shit, I want to do that one." Cause that's like one of my favorite werewolf movies. Ginger Snaps. What? Yes, I love it. It's it reminds me of the Sosko sisters. 
yeah. I can see that. I can actually see them either. Well, I guess they're in a lot of movies that they do, like producing this movie or being in this movie. I think this is definitely their album. Yeah. And I think, well, they did American Mary, which had the same girl in it, Catherine Elizabeth or Catherine Isabel. That's the older sister, right? Yeah, that's Ginger. Okay. Yeah, so she's the werewolf. So it's the same girl that played American Mary, and it kind of just felt like a Soska sister film. Um, I'm trying to see who directed it. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely. Um, oh, wait, hang on. John Fawcett, director of this movie, Ginger Snaps. Oh, a guy directed it? I thought a girl did. Mm hmm. Doesn't even say on here. That's weird. Huh. Poor John his name on his own. So it was written by a girl, Karen Walt Walton. Okay. Yep. Writers, Karen, John, someone else. There we go. John Fawcett, directed by. Would you put well, when you you're like, is there gore? Yes, there's gore. There's yeah. a lot of gore. <laughs> That's important for me. I'm like, it's a werewolf. There has to be gore. There has to be a lot of blood in it. And there was mm -hmm. a lot of gore, throat rips, all kinds of crazy shit. Which, yeah. When I started the movie, I wasn't expecting it so much again because it's teens and it's mm -hmm. female teens that you don't really see it as much. Especially, well, not in like 2001. But you don't really see it as much. Mm -hmm. You don't really think about it as much. But then when you see it, it's like, holy shit, these chicks are violent. <laughs> violent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's it was totally was. Good. It was good. Yep, I'm like, I promise you'll like it. <laughs> I'm glad I did because not every movie on this list is a hit. There's some that are just like, I just watch. And this wasn't one of this. I like this movie. Mm-hmm. So you would watch it again? Well, you are watching it again, but would you normally watch it again? I would. I, I can't say how soon, but I would definitely go back to this movie again. And I know you've mm -hmm. seen it a thousand times already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Like, ginger snaps. <laughs> I'd watch it again, and I would recommend it. Again, I don't... I will never, I will never not recommend a movie. I will never not tell you to watch it. I will give you a fair warning. If it's a movie I don't like at all, I'll say, you know, watch at your own risk. If you hate mm -hmm. it, don't blame me. If you love it, don't blame me for that either. Because I don't want any credit for you. <laughs> you have to do with that movie. I don't want any credit. <laughs> I, I do feel like we got. I just you know I want to watch as many horror movies as possible, and you got to take the good with the bad ones. It's oh god, it's so tough sometimes. Some of the shit I sat through and just didn't turn the TV off or change the channel, and you're just like, fuck. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where in your mind you're just like. Something cool has to happen. Something it has to get better. The ending is going to be amazing. Just something. Just yeah. Flat like the whole movie. I really pushed out. Yeah. But I never. Yeah, regret and you don't want to turn it off because you think you're going to miss it. Yeah, and I never regret it. Only for the <laughs> I never regret it. Never wish I didn't watch it. Only for the fact of if you write that movie for remember, let's say you're going to forget that you watched that movie, and you're going to watch it again. Put yourself through that same fucking punishment probably have flashbacks and cry in the corner. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> and cry in the corner. Yeah. Why did I watch this again? <laughs> so um <laughs> but did you now this movie is it something you've seen? Did this I don't know did this get a theater release? Or do you know? That I I don't know. Um I honestly don't remember when I even saw it. Um I know I didn't watch it on DVD. I think I saw it on it could have been something like Netflix at some well no, because Netflix hasn't been around that long. It might have been. I don't remember how long Maybe. it's been around for. It might have been wild. I wonder if it was Netflix or if I like rented it. It was something weird. And I just was like, Oh, that looks good and I turned it on and I was like, Holy shit, that's really good. Nice. And like, you know, the gore was good, the effects were good, um, the werewolf, you know, it looked a little bit different than I would expect, but it was still a well done werewolf. Yeah. Except it had boobs. That was really weird. Did okay. you see that part? I, I got I should probably go to that part. No, I didn't see that part because, like, as I was saying earlier, I didn't get to finish the movie. I had, like, a half hour left, and I have it playing right now on mute, but instead of, like, letting it play through, 
I started it over, and I'm realizing now it didn't make mm-hmm. sense to let it play through, and then just started over right after. But not yeah, even see, like, yeah, because the last part, I didn't see like the very full transformation. Now her mother brought her a slice of cake. Well, it's the other sister, but still, oh, because she's trying to get get out. What's going on with her sister? I get it. So I see. Yeah, and she was trying to get her away from something. Um, oh, the girl in the freezer. The mother. There's a girl in the freezer. Yeah, the girl that had the dog that got kicked in the face. Um, Ginger ends up killing her, and they have to put her in the freezer. Because, well, she doesn't kill her on purpose. She slips and yeah. hits her head, and then no. Ginger like no, 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 blood. That, that part didn't happen yet. It's the part where Ginger's in the car with her boyfriend, and the mother gives the younger sister a slice of cake. She's sitting with her at the table. Oh, okay. I don't know what they're saying, but I'm I'm assuming she's trying to like see what's going on with her sister. See what's going on. Yeah. Her, what's going on with her sister? And all this other stuff. Yeah, she is. And she just does. So I see how this mother rolls. It's dessert. Mm-hmm. She's like, if I feed you, will you tell me information? But like at the very end, so I don't know if you saw that part or not, but um, right before Ginger completely transforms, um, the mom almost seems like she knows, like she knows what's going on. Mm-hmm. So um, she takes the do- the other daughter, Bridget, to the party to find Ginger because she knows something's going on because she finds that girl's fingers. Okay. And she knows they're real. And so she tells the dad that they're, they're a, a prop, like a movie prop, mm-hmm. but she knows they're real. And so she brings Bridget to the party to get Ginger. And then that's when Ginger completely transforms into like the full-on fucking werewolf. Oh, wow. But it seemed like the mom knew kind of what was going on. She might have, like, after a while, she might have known, maybe not necessarily her being a werewolf, but just in general, just like, okay, something crazy is going on. These girls are acting way different. They're acting strange a lot. Mm-hmm. Ginger has a terrible attitude. She's violent. Because she did mention something about beating a girl. Then. Oh, yeah, she beat the shit out of her. When her, mother was, <laughs> when her mother said something about it, she mentioned, you know, Ginger mentioned she beat the girl up. She, you know, she's sticking up for her sister. Mm-hmm. Fuck like that. Yep. The girl's a bitch, though. She deserved it. But then it, what it was was later in the movie, though, is when, you know, a little later on when she killed the girl because I remember the girl comes outside. I don't know if she started fucking with her sister again, but she, her sister was like, listen, you should probably leave. You should leave. The girl didn't listen. Her sister mm-hmm. comes out, grabs her, and they end up inside. And that girl held really, break, really breaks loose. Yeah. Yeah, and that's when she hits her head and dies, and they stick her in the freezer. But, um, you know, and then you see Ginger, like, eating the blood, you know. It's corn syrup, Daddy. Do you want some? Um, But in the very, very end, which you didn't watch, um, when Ginger, so the guy that's trying to help, um, Sam, I think was his name. Um, Oh, the kid, the kid, right? The kid, yeah, the the guy that knew about, that hit the werewolf in the beginning. Mm Mm-hmm. And he's trying to help. So Ginger gets him and he's basically almost dead. And so the good sister, Bridget, um, she's trying to stop Ginger, you know, so she doesn't kill him completely. And so his blood, he's got blood everywhere. And so Bridget starts like eating the blood to like get Ginger to be like, oh, okay, I'll do it too. And it's disgusting. I mean, you just see it just like dripping and it's all thick in her mouth and she's eating his blood. It was so gross. That's kind of awesome. I just fast forward to like the last 15 minutes of the movie. Just so I can see. Yeah, you got to watch that part. That's no. nasty. <laughs> Super gross. The one part that I didn't, I didn't understand though is so you know how they made the, uh, I guess, uh, what do you call it? The cure with the plant. Mm-hmm. And then she wasted it on that guy that got the STD and turned into a werewolf too. So... She knows that it works. They know that they have the plant and they're going to make it. So why did Bridget wait so long to inject her with it? She should have just injected her with it before she completely transformed. Just been like, hey, I got it. Let's inject you. Let's fix you and this and that. But she didn't. She just kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And then it's too fucking late. I think it was just a fear of killing her sister, maybe. Because she fucked yeah. her little bit of her sister. But that... Well, movies always do that though. It's like, okay, you figured out how to stop this beast. 
or whatever, you figure out how to save your family and change this, and you wait to the last minute, the very last minute, to where it's like you do this, and more than likely you're not gonna be able to save them. And you wait, 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 and you start crying, and then boom, mm-hmm. I'm just like, yep, yeah, gotta do it. And everybody's screwed. Everybody. Yeah, I was, I was bummed he died. <laughs> This is because all he was trying to do is help. He should have just been see. This is what this is his problem. He should have just been minding his damn business. That's all. Yeah, screw you. Figure it out. <laughs> if, if I'm put it this way, if I'm driving down the street and I see a fucking werewolf chasing some girls, I didn't see shit. I'm just gonna keep driving, <laughs> even if I hit the werewolf. <laughs> You're like, at least it didn't get me. <laughs> yeah, if I hit the, you know, say I hit the werewolf. Keep driving, and that's it. I'm moving. I'm done. I know they're in high school, but yeah. I'll figure something out. I'll at least get transferred to a different school, so I don't have to be involved in that. Yep. I'm gone. I, I'm not. I yeah. Because werewolves are scary. Yeah, and I can't beat one. No. If it's a person. I mean, you can hit it with a car. <laughs> yeah, but that's just going to piss it off. I mean, that one he did <laughs> run over, but it doesn't mean it's always going to work. They can't, and you're not always that's in, true. You're not always in a car either. It can't be your only go-to. Yeah, that's true, too. But... Yeah, I don't know. He he shouldn't have helped. He was just trying to be a nice guy. And that's what happens. And the other guy was a jerk, and he got saved with this, the serum. <laughs> yeah. He should have died. Yeah. Not the good guy. See, that when he's starting to change, like, okay, maybe I should be nice and help them out. But, damn, it's a lot of fucking... This is a bloody movie. It's super bloody, I told you. Blood all over the door, blood all over the floor. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, there's the needle. The one thing that was so gross was her tail. I hated her tail. It was disgusting. It's all wiggling. <laughs> it was nasty. She was, going to like, she was like laying down. Her sister went to go look look at yeah. her tail. And she was like, oh, that's yes, it was sick. <laughs> Remind me of Shallow Howl. Remember that with Jack Black? Mm-hmm. And the guy that was in um, Seinfeld. Um, the little guy with glasses. Little fat guy with glasses. His name was George... I know the thing is yeah, oh. yeah, George. So George was in Shallow How, and he had a tail, and it wiggled. <laughs> it reminded me of that. I was like, ew. And they're all taping it to her leg. Mm-hmm. They didn't even really have to show it. Like when the tail was little, like they didn't have to show that. It really didn't have. To. I know. I, I didn't <laughs> it was so that. gross. Like I understand why they did, but it was well. Oh. It's like it's not necessary. <laughs> it's not necessary. <laughs> It was sick. I was like, ew, that's so gross. It's so weird. <laughs> it was super weird. Well, and then, like, even when she was uh, piercing her belly button, thinking that the metal was going to, whatever, get rid of it, mm-hmm. a belly button piercing doesn't hurt that bad to where she was freaking out and, like, screaming and holding on to the bed rails and stuff. It's not that bad. I think it's the way she did it, though. I think she had to put be more aggressive with it like or firm with it or whatever because i think mm-hmm. she, i want to say her skin was tougher because i know she healed don't forget she healed fast remember she got attacked by the wall oh. and her scar or like her scratches yeah early. and she was like you're healing already this is this, that's kind of strange because she was like i'm gonna call the doctor mm-hmm. so maybe it's something like that where she you know she sticks her with the thing to put the belly button ring in and it's kind of like closing like the skin's closing as she's doing it that's my mm-hmm. That could be. I didn't even think about that. I was just like, how the? F- why is she freaking out like that? She's a tough anyway. So like, why is she screaming? <laughs> oh, there's a guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Looks like he's crying. Which one? The um. Oh, the, oh I see your, the full transformation. Mm-hmm. The guy. She's the weird guy, looking. Hero. Uh huh. The guy was trying to be the hero. Yeah. He's sitting up against the wall, just. You made me yawn. Dang it. <laughs> I, I'm not even tired. That's the crazy thing. I'm wide awake. Funny I'm I'm super t- tired. I just want to see this kill, but... It's a good kill. It's sad. I'm like, dang it. He's just sitting there dying, bleeding out. He got fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, just stayed in that he didn't deserve that. This is why this right here, people, is why you don't need to get in other people's business. You don't end up getting killed. Yep. By, mind your business. That's yeah. It. Don't help people. Fuck them. 
<laughs> yeah, it was weird too. Like her coloring of the werewolf was weird because she's like real pasty. So she's not even like, and she's not all hairy and stuff either. It's almost like she's a bald werewolf. But it was cool looking, but it was just different. It was definitely different. Yep. Okay, now they're eating the blood. I see, see the sister doing it first with her hands and now the other sister. Ugh, yeah. But what's the purpose of her doing this though? I think because Ginger, you know how Ginger wants her to be with her always. Mm -hmm. So I think it's that, you know, gen the way it seemed is pretty much she wants her to do what she's going to do. So she's showing that, you know, I'm not turning my back on you. I'm, you know, I'm helping you. I'm being like you. And so her eating it is showing like, no, look, it's okay. You know, I'll do it too. Because then when she throws it up, when she throws the blood up, that pisses Ginger off and that's when she kills him. I did see that. Like, that's just what, she just threw it up and now she just like wiped her mouth off and she looks scared. Oh. Yeah. That was a lot of blood she was eating too. She could have like faked that, but she's like seriously sh shoveling it in her mouth. Mm-hmm. That was super gross. Bit the throat. That was nice. Yeah, poor guy. It'll be all right. I thought he was gonna live. I really did. The first time I saw it, I was like, "Oh yay!" You know, he's gonna live and he's gonna be with Bridget because <laughs> he seems to like her. He did. He loved yeah. Her. So there's like three of them. I think there's three movies, and I haven't seen the other two. I, but I guess one is almost like an origin one. Okay. Yeah. I know there's a sequel because I. When I was looking it up on Prime, I was like, which one am I supposed to watch? Mm -hmm. there's, there's Ginger Snaps, Ginger Snaps 2, and there's like a Ginger Snaps something, but it's not like... Snaps of, Back. Is that what it is? Yeah, Ginger Snaps Back or some shit. But one of them, it's like old time. Um, it's like Renaissance period or something weird, I think. Oh, wow. Hey, yeah, I, so I don't understand. I don't know. you never seen any, the other two or three? Uh-uh. No, the cover of the one where they look like they're in a different time period, it, it didn't appeal to me, so I didn't watch it. <laughs> I was like, that looks stupid. It looks like Lord of the Rings, but with a werewolf. Oh, man. And watch it be a good movie, too. Watch. It could be. I mean, maybe I will watch it just because we're talking about it, but I just liked this one so much, I didn't want it to get ruined by the other two. Understandable. So you said this is one of your mm -hmm. favorite werewolf movies? Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. Um, I really like the Underworlds, but, you know, it's vampires and werewolves. Mm -hmm. um, of course, American Werewolf in London. I love that one. Um, do you remember Cursed with uh, Chris Nariki or Ricci? Not really. I don't. No? Mm -hmm. That one was good. And Jesse Eisenberg? I like that one. I werewolves know. scare me. I'm actually really scared of werewolves. I remember Teen Wolf with Michael J. Fox. Oh, yeah. That was good, too. <laughs> the funny thing is, the other night, I turned on Teen Wolf 2 with Jason Bateman. Because, like, I'll just turn movies on, you know, to go to sleep, too. And I was mm -hmm. like, hmm, we'll turn on Teen Wolf 2. <laughs> I do that. They're good werewolves, though. They're not bad. They're not mean. They're just weird. That is true. That is very true. Which would have been cool mm -hmm. to see a crazy werewolf movie like that with Michael J. Fox in it. Mm-hmm. But really cool. I think the only horror movie I've ever seen him in was uh, The Frighteners. Is that what it was? I didn't know he was in a horror movie. Now i got to look that up and find out. Yeah, I think it was called The Frighteners. And, like, the cover, it's like, you know Nightmare on Elm Street when Freddy comes through the wall? Mm-hmm. And, it like, kind of pushes the wall? It looks like that, but it's, like, this weird kind of skeleton face. Like with jagged teeth and like the hand. Yeah. But I, I just, I know I saw it when I was younger, but I don't remember what it's about. I'm going to look, I'm gonna have to look into that one. Frighteners. Mm hmm. The Frighteners. That's, okay, the Frighteners. Mm hmm. Or it might just be Frighteners. I don't know, whatever, but it was, it was good. <laughs> Are you sure it was good? I remember I liked it then. I don't know if I like it now. I was also probably 11 when I watched it. So there's a lot of movies from back then that I was like, oh, those are so good. And then I watched them later. And I was like, that movie sucked. I can't believe how much I liked it back then. But you got to remember you were a kid. I get that. There, there is those movies, though, through all genres. I like that. 
from a kid from childhood to adulthood, I still enjoy them. Mm-hmm. It's horror is easy. Yeah. I feel like you just appreciate it more. But I mean, like, I still love the Lion King. I still love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies. Mm-hmm. So they they stuck. They carried. But I do get what you mean. There's some there's some movies or even shows that you watch as a kid. And it's like, what the fuck? Why was I watching this? Why? Yeah. It's not even funny. <laughs> well, no. Or movies that you thought were scary. They just terrified you as a kid. And then you watched them later, you know, years down the road. And you're like, that wasn't scary at all. It's Oh, my gosh. My one, I'm sure there's more than one that scared me. But my one was Creepshow as a kid. I don't know what. The Hitchhiker, Creepshow Part 2, The Hitchhiker scared the shit out of me. And watching it later on, and definitely watching my adulthood, I just laughed at the whole. I'm just like, what? this really scared me as a kid. I could see Yeah. Why. Thanks for the ride, lady. Mm-hmm. Funny as hell, though. Thanks for the ride, lady. <laughs> I was like, how many freaking times can you say that? It's so annoying. <laughs> hey, she gave her a ride. Or she gave him a ride somewhere. Yeah, on her windshield. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you won't die. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was, uh, I gotta go back and watch that now that I think about it. Mm-hmm. All right, lady. But, Thanks for the ride, lady. I guess we can wrap this one up, but before we do, I want you to talk about what's going on with like your show, your podcast, and all that awesomeness with that. And okay. Money. I know you do interviews and all that cool stuff, but just let the listeners know. All right. So um, I have a show called Sinister Parlor Podcast on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Um, so I get, you know, horror actors, directors, horror fans like Sir Sturdy. I have you on multiple times now, which is super cool. Um, comes out every Saturday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, I'm also an author. I have two books out now. If I can get them without all my crap falling. <laughs> um, Broken Halo and Broken Halo Blood Curse. Those are available on Amazon in print and Kindle form. And my third one is coming out here soon called Broken Halo Witches Game. Um, I'm trying to think. Movie wise, I have The Dark Web, directed by Tony Newton and Josh, Josh Schultz. Um, so, Vestra Pictures and Mort House Films. And I think that's still available on YouTube. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be up there, but you can watch it right now for free. Mm-hmm. And you can also order it at morthousefilms.com. Um, we're also doing a few other movies with Tony. Um, I don't think I can, I think one of them, I can say what it is. It's called Amityville curse. Mm -hmm. Um, I think he's put that up there so you can kind of see. Um, so a bunch of us, we're doing all these movies in quarantine is what is what's going on. So it's made it to where we can still make films, but we're locked inside the house. That's super cool. Um, I have a movie coming out soon. I don't know the release date yet, but with, uh, Lauren Lepre. Mm -hmm. it's called 2024 and then actually sarah and josh schultz is in that as well and then billy blair you know who he is right i think so it it sounds familiar at least he's in so many friggin' movies um he was in three from hell too okay He, he was one of the black satans but he's in it so that's coming out soon we just put up the advertisement for that um Try to think. I think that's it for right now. That's yeah, cool. check out Sinister Parlor Podcast. <laughs> yes, definitely check out Sinister Parlor Podcast. That's awesome, though. You got all that stuff going on and just all horror stuff. That's cool. I know mm-hmm. it has to be fun. So I, I love it. Go check out Sinister Parlor Podcast on YouTube, Facebook, iTunes, anywhere. Anybody can listen to podcasts, check it out. Now, how do you get, as far as, like, do you have a lot of random fans on your show, or is it more other podcasters and, like, people, like, directors and actors and actresses? Like, can a horror, can another horror fan come on your show is what I'm asking. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I definitely have, it's not just people that are in movies. Um, I also have horror fans. Um, you and Liz, which you know Liz, mm-hmm. um, you two are my major horror fans that come on multiple times. Um, but yeah, just anybody that likes to talk about horror, I like getting them on. Um, you know, I'm going to have, uh, I don't want to say it yet just in case it doesn't happen, but I'm going to have a few different type things come on that are kind of more crime, 
crime type stuff. Um, but yeah, you know, if, if they love horror, they can definitely come on and, you know, do what we do and just pick movies and talk about it. Or if there's just something specific that they want to talk about that's horror related, then definitely. Next question. How can they contact you? If they, uh, like email like, your Facebook page, would that be the best way? Your Sinister Parlor page? Yeah, Facebook is the best way. Um, Sinister Parlor Podcast on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. So either one of those platforms is the easiest. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just not good with checking emails. So it's just easier. I mean, Facebook, I'm on there. It's super easy. It alerts me right away. So mm-hmm. Facebook's the best. Instagram is next. <laughs> you can see with me, I'll do my plugs now. <clears throat> For me, it's... um. I might as well say, if you ever want to be on this show, if you're a horror, I'll just be, you just have to be a horror fan. You don't have to be in movies and all that. If you are in movies, that's cool too. Shoot me an email, horrorwithcert.sturdy. Again, it's horrorwithcert.sturdy at gmail.com. As far as where you can hear the podcast, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Spotify, iTunes, Google Play, all that, all that stuff. And everywhere else where podcasts are spread out. I have a Facebook group, which is for anybody and, every, anybody and everybody to share anything and everything horror related. Long the tour related, it's fair game, your own podcast, your own independent movies. You could sell things on there, all that stuff. I will say this, though, if you do try to sell things on there, I'm not in the middle of it. So if you make a sale with somebody and somebody screws you up, whatever the case may be, I'm not in the middle of it. I will kick the person out the group, but as far as, like, having me solve those problems, I can't do that for you. Yeah. Just letting you know that. Mm-hmm. Um, and don't post Nicolas Cage. He hates Nicolas Cage. Yes, you guys should know this. Or do post it. <laughs> how I feel about Nicolas Cage by now. So. <laughs> I, I don't do that. <laughs> um, what else is I have a Facebook page where I know before I was sharing like, all my podcast stuff on the group and in the page, but I'm strictly going to share it to the page so I can get more traffic to both of those, the page and the group. So if you want to hear the podcast, the YouTube channel, all that, every video that I post, every episode that I post will be strictly on, the, on that page and, of course, on all the platforms I believe that's it. I think that's it. Zombie. Did you say Podbean? I don't think you said Podbean. I don't remember. I am on Podbean, though. That's like my um, that's like my home network as far as where I put my podcast out. And Podbean throws it out to all those other places that I mentioned besides YouTube because I stopped from doing YouTube just because I do videos now. Oh yeah, I'm on YouTube too. I don't think I said that. <laughs> I think I just said. Did I say? I don't know. I don't know what I said. But I've no, had a migraine, so. <laughs> I don't remember either. But yes, we're both, put it this way. Here are podcasts. We're both on Podbean, or no, sorry. We're both on multiple platforms, major platforms, including YouTube. And yes. I want to thank you. Just again. Google it. <laughs> I had a great time. Yeah, thank you. It was fun. Me too. I always love recording with you. <laughs> and I'm sure you'll see us working with each other again. I know you'll see us working with each other again on each other's podcasts. <clears throat> And as always, 